What up, y'all? Favorite neighborhood customizer, the Yellow Bone. Check me out, man. Today, I'm just show y'all how I clean my bobbins. Um, I really don't trash my bobbins. Whenever they start to get too dirty, I put them in that bin. And then I've got this bin, which actually has nothing but new ones left in it. So once I, yeah, I actually probably clean those ones, deep clean those ones couple weeks or so I still got some time with this one if um, it gets dusty on the inside of your bobbin case it gets dusty around your pigtail it gets build up of residue around your pigtail if you don't clean it very often and dust it off very often um, I keep mine pretty clean I try to clean it throughout each job so there's thread build up right inside this arm right here and you can't really see it on the camera, but it's a good amount. I'll see if I can get it out. So what I like to do to clean this arm out is I've got this little, it's just a sublimation business card that I just never sublimated on, but it's nice and stiff and strong. So I like to use it to get in there and clean it out. And there's even residue build up. I can see it as I lift that tab up. And that's the issue when that residue builds up the residue from your thread builds up and it builds hard. It's not just dust build up. It's dust build up that has been getting friction ran across it over and over and over again. So it's hardened and it changes the structure of your bobbin clip. So I just get in there and I really scrape at it good. Make sure I'm cleaning off the metal, not just getting any thread pieces out that are fresh which I did get those threads out, <clears throat> but I didn't hold on to them to show them to y'all. So, but that's clean now. Oh, a little bit left. So now I'm gonna leave that card in there and I've got air compressor. And I'm going to use, uh, to first pry this back open and be gentle with this arm. Don't be rough with it because you're going to end up breaking it or losing the tension on it. I feel like that's the only time that your bobbin case goes bad is one of two things. Either you bend your pigtail. If you bend your pigtail, toss it, it's done. And if you mess up this screw, if you over tighten it or um, really over tightening, over tightening it is the only way that you're gonna mess it up, but it'll strip the threads. Um, if you are messing with this and you bend it, it's gonna make it so that it's not applying the right amount of pressure and the right amount of tension. So you really wanna be gentle. But I just really dust it off really good. This pigtail can build up that frictionized dust clutter. So I like to spray that really good. Get a look at it. Looks fine to me. But as you use these over time, that that dust buildup builds really strong on there. And the only way to clean it is just to like soak it. So I'll do a video later of how to how I do my bulk cleaning of these. But this is just how I get them cleaned and ready whenever I notice that my machine is acting funky. Um, usually if I'm getting a lot of thread slips and I've already cleaned all my upper path, and I'm still getting a lot of thread slips in between color changes. Um, I'm getting a lot of shredding um, on my top thread. And it just keeps on doing it periodically. It's probably because of those constant tension changes. And when you get those constant tension changes while your machine is running, it's going to cause those issues. Because you might pull too much down. And then all that thread is stuck in there while it's all spinning and just clumping it up and it'll just cause issues cause that tension to mess up cause your thread to twist so got to keep your machine clean clean guys but that's how i clean my little bobbin case i'm gonna go ahead and get this job back running peace